So guys, super exciting video for you today, because as you know, I love modding things. And today we are installing macOS Catalina on a completely unsupported MacBook. Now, this MacBook I got from my dad's friend. He wants me to fix it for him because it keeps shutting down. I believe that issue was solved with the RAM, as when I changed it, it started turning on normally. So now we're going to go a step further and we're going to upgrade it to macOS Catalina. Before we start off with the video, you guys are absolutely incredible. You've brought the numbers up yet again. 3.7% of people watching these videos are now subscribed. So if you like this video and you're part of that 96.3% of people that aren't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe. It only takes you a few seconds and it helps the channel out a lot. Follow me on my social media here and here. It helps me out a lot. Let's you guys criticize me, tell me what I'm doing wrong and tell me what future videos you wanna see. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Basically what we're doing is we're going to be modding a MacBook, but it's extremely old. This little thing is one of the old white MacBooks and it's running Mac OS X 10.6.8 which is pretty old and outdated, as you probably know. What we are going to do, modded phone, <laughs> is we are gonna put Catalina on this. Now, for this, you are going to need a different Mac. I don't have a Mac, so we have a Hackintosh, as you can see here. I hate this thing, it formatted my computer a few days ago. It was my fault. I'm not gonna talk about it. I used the Hackintosh to download Mac OS Sierra and Mac OS Catalina. You are going to need a software called Mac OS Catalina Patcher. Now this software is readily available here. With this, you are also going to need APFS boot ROM support. Now, if you already have a machine that supports High Sierra natively, you must ensure that you have the latest version of the system's boot ROM installed. If you have not previously installed High Sierra, you can download and install this package. Now. I chose the easier way because installing that package isn't going to work because of how old this operating system is. So I created a High Sierra USB stick along with the Catalina USB stick. So this is the High Sierra USB stick. We're going to boot right into it and install this before we install Catalina. In case you have never done this before, the way you boot to a USB stick on Mac OS X is you press the power button and you hold down the Alt key or the Option key. I believe it's called the Option key on a MacBook. So you basically keep holding that down until you see your mouse cursor appear, and then you can select Mac OS High Sierra right there. And we're gonna wait for it to boot. So I'm gonna plug this thing into power, and we're gonna wait for this to show up. It's, it is going to take a while. I assume that um, doing this on two gigabytes of RAM isn't the best idea, but we only have two gigabytes of RAM to work with. I did try putting in more, uh, but I didn't have any supported by Mac because as we know, Apple absolutely loves making proprietary hardware. Thank you, Apple. This is why I don't use Apple products. Also guys, if you want a video on how to make a Hackintosh in 2020, let me know down in the comments below. I think I would be willing to make that video even though it was a massive pain in the ass. The Hackintosh itself, it works perfectly fine in case you're wondering. All sound, audio, all USB ports, everything works. It's like even the graphics card is natively supported, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I don't really use this unless I'm like doing things like this, but I assume that there's quite a lot of people out there that have a market for Hackintoshes because number one, they're cheaper and number two, they're usually better than the Apple hardware itself. Well, let's play some music and wait for this thing to install. I'm not sure if you can tell guys, but it's actually gotten darker. I hope it's not too dark. I hope you can still see me. I'm going to rewatch this and if it's too dark, I'm just going to turn the lights on. I don't want to turn the lights on because it looks like crap with them. We're finally here. Uh, this took only about two hours. Um, so the thing started turning back on and off again, and I was like, oh, you know what? It's probably overheating. So I took the entire thing apart and repasted it. And you know what? That's probably going to do it good. But it turns out that that actually wasn't it. The charging port on this thing is a little bit broken and iffy. So you have to push in the connector super hard in order for it to actually start charging. Therefore, the rubber band. So the rubber band is actually holding it in place right now. So uh, we're switching to the phone's mic just because that's just going to be easier for me right about now. So we're going to do the setup for High Sierra first. So you know, as usual, you want to click on uh, disk utility first, then erase the drive that you will be installing to. So that's this one, Macintosh HD. It's pretty much empty anyway. We're just going to call it a uh, High Sierra for now, just like that. Mac OS journaled. I'm pretty sure it formats to APFS or whatever max new format is after this, or that could actually be Catalina. I know Catalina does that for a fact. We're installing High Sierra first because we need to get that boot ROM support. Cool. So let's click continue and uh, let it install. So High Sierra, I'm going to let that install and I'll be right back to you guys. 
so this is actually pretty insane. This thing is old as hell and only has four, two gigs of RAM and it says five minutes, so I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Also, sorry about the shaking, no gimbal. This actually takes five minutes. Props to Apple for their optimization. So guys, I believe we're almost there. Hmm, this screen is very dirty. Okay, yeah, it didn't take that long. Uh, but it's finally booted up, so let's set this up and get Catalina onto it. That's probably gonna take even longer. <laughs> okay, so great news, we finally have Sierra on. Worst news, we now need to flash Catalina, which I am assuming is going to take either as long or even longer. Okay, so now that we have High Sierra installed, we want to make sure everything is working fine here which it does seem to be. And what we are going to do is in Safari, we are going to download the Catalina patcher. Now you could create a USB stick with the patcher using your Hackintosh or using any other device, but I haven't really been successful there. It's just been turning on for ages. I also want to confirm that I did upgrade the RAM in this Mac to four gigabytes because four gigabytes is the minimum for Catalina to run. So now that we have it upgraded to four gigabytes of RAM, we should be able to run the Catalina Patcher when it's done downloading. Okay, so now the Catalina Patcher is downloaded here as you can see. Okay, as you can see here, the macOS Catalina Patcher can now be moved to the desktop. If there was an SSD in this, it would be so much faster. So now you want to launch the Catalina Patcher. Then it's going to show up that it's from an unidentified developer. So what you want to do, you want to control click, and that should allow you to click open and then that should skip the verification process. So it's still gonna show up that it's verifying, but it's not actually going to care about the result. As you can see, now it gives you the option to open it even though it's from an unidentified developer. Now you're in the Catalina Patcher, you wanna click continue, continue again. You want to download a copy of Catalina. So we're gonna start download and that's going to take a while. So I'll be back to you when this is complete. Okay, so as you can see, this is what shows up when it's done downloading. So you wanna click install to this machine. You wanna click start. Okay, so once that's done, this is what you're gonna get. You wanna click continue, agree, agree, click on Hi Sierra and install. And all of a sudden you're installing macOS Catalina on a completely incompatible MacBook. So, so far it's not looking good. It seems to be stuck at, oh, 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 well, something's happening. Currently, it's just stuck like this. I think I'm gonna go to sleep and just leave it through the night. Oh my god, so I was just watching YouTube there. It's now 1.30. That is absolutely amazing. Oh my... Oh my god. So as you can see, that actually worked out pretty damn well. I don't have any footage of me actually using the MacBook, which is unfortunate, but the thing stopped wanting to turn on again. I believe this one has a MagSafe failure, which means I would need to replace either the battery or the MagSafe, which is pretty unfortunate because I really wanted to get some benchmarks out on it for you. But unfortunately, that's not possible. I can't imagine it would be absolutely incredible or blow actual MacBooks out of the water, but as you can see, it does work. And if you do need the newest operating system on your MacBook that is old and unsupported, you can totally do it with the help of this amazing software. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys liked it and you're part of that 97.3% of people that aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Follow me on my social media here and here. Tell me what videos you want to see. And yeah, if you want to be notified of future content and it's coming daily for now until I have the energy to do that. If you want to see that and you want to be notified, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell. See you again in the next one. Peace.